Hey guys, it's your girl Abby and I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be centered on the idea of transformation. I'll be reflecting on my own experiences and how I was able to transform my life and work through my traumas or flaws. Disclaimer. Before we get into this video, I want to acknowledge that there are people struggling with life traumas on a clinical level. I often use the word trauma as an umbrella term to summarize the things that I've gone through or things that I'm currently going through. And so that should not be misunderstood, but for the purpose of this video, I may be using the word trauma, but note that I'm using it very lightly. Also want to acknowledge that health is wealth, but also sometimes our health can be used for wealth. And so anyone watching this video i want you guys to take it with a grain of salt and understand that this is me just expressing my experiences and the things that i've learned across my journey so it's not a guide to health it's not a guide to wellness wellness is a personal journey i hope that this inspires you to go inwards and connect with god on a deeper level so let's get into it. Oftentimes, I've been told that I am so calm, that I'm just so relaxed. Do you ever stress about anything? And the answer is yes. Yes, I do stress. And yes, I am calm, but I wasn't always like that. But oftentimes when I am calm, I'm actually working through my mind and my emotions to remain calm. So where and how did it all start? Let's get into my story. Okay. I have always been a calm and sensitive person. I'm very sensitive to my surroundings and the people around me. And that can be a good thing, but it also comes with its con. I'm also very hyper vigilant to body language, any change in tone, any, any sudden change in demeanors. I pick up on that like no tomorrow. Now, this can often lead to a hyper fixation on minute and simple details. Often leads me to overthink a whole lot more than I actually need to. As a result of this, I've noticed myself over the years be very, re be very reactive. Someone might say a small joke with an even smaller truth to it, and now I'm upset with the person. Why would they say that? What did they actually think about me? Maybe it wasn't a joke and they were just telling me the truth. No, it's not a joke. It's not funny. It's serious. What else are they thinking about me and not saying? Ugh. Whole demeanor towards them changes. Or I fight back with my words. And I do not, I do not recommend fighting back with your words. There have been many times where I've completely lost my temper with my friends and family and ended up saying things that I never actually meant. Also, the emotional uproar that takes place within my body is not pleasant. Emotions can be felt viscerally, meaning the body, and mentally. And when I lose my temper, I get to the point where I feel like I no longer have control over my body or my mind. And I hate, hate, hate that feeling. So what did I do about it? First and foremost... I acknowledged the emotional cycle that would take place every time I was triggered. And that was stimuli, reaction, right? So that's physically feeling my body tense up, right? When I'm angry. Then outbursts or release. And so that can be through words. Some people get violent. It's an outburst, it's a release. But then what we don't always talk about and what some of us are not aware of is after that release comes feeling of guilt and shame and that's really what made me look at myself differently and say hey something needs to change because I hated that feeling of guilt and shame once I was conscious of the pattern that I would constantly play out and acknowledge that I wasn't happy doing this to myself or doing it to others, I decided that I needed to actually make a change, that I could not keep going down and keep going through these cycles over and over. So I actively started to work through it. Also important to note that guilt and shame that I would feel after yelling or cursing someone out because I was triggered and upset was a clear indicator to me that what I was doing was unhealthy. If, I, if my actions result in guilt or shame, I know that that is clearly something that I'm not doing correctly. It's not healthy for me and it's not healthy for people around me. And I strive, I honestly strive to be the best version of myself for myself and for others. And 
collectively for the world. So what did I do? I started praying like I normally do with all my life problems. Lord, please help me to be slow to anger. Please allow me to be patient and in control of my words. Lord, please help me be like your son, Jesus Christ, in everything that I do. Amen. This is the prayer I would pray for transformation. But as we all know, faith without works is dead. And so I had to actively put in the work. I forced myself to remain silent in conflict. I did this so that I could be conscious of the response I said, so that my response reflected how I truly felt within that moment. And sometimes we need to take a moment in order to let that happen. We need to take a moment to process through our thoughts and our emotions. Oftentimes our emotions are like waves, right? But what happens is the wave comes and it's a big uproar, but it passes. And we have to allow our emotions to have that same pattern let the emotions rise and let them fall but the issue comes when the emotions are rising and we have that outburst so acknowledging that i said okay i'm gonna allow my emotions to do what they normally do right i can't control the emotions that are coming up but i can control how i respond to them so allow the emotions to come up allow them to come back down and when they come back down i can understand how i was feeling and properly articulate myself this requires discipline our favorite d word discipline every time i felt anger stir up i forced myself to take deep breaths this allowed me to feel think and then respond this was an active discipline that i had to do in all areas of my life and it was so so transformative i was able to relate to people on a deeper level i was able to understand myself on a deeper level i was able to transform situations by leading with love instead of my trigger response I learned that anger is a response it's a response to trauma and trigger that we might not be ready to take a look at but the longer we ignore it the more we have to live with that guilt and shame i was tired of hurting myself and i was tired of hurting others i was tired of hurting myself because in return i'm also hurting others the human race is so connected and we're all reflections of each other and so when i do something that is hurtful for me that spills out and it hurts other people we're all connected in that weird way of like if i treat myself with love and kindness the people around me will be treated with that same love and kindness because that's what comes out of me that's what i exude right we're all interconnected the human race everything on this planet on the planet earth is interconnected but anyways that is how i transformed my life into this seemingly calm nonchalant old soul s being that i am today thank you guys for watching this video next time we'll get into the difference between transformation and management anyways like comment and subscribe let me know what you think connects with me on the gram at abigxrl and i'll see you guys next time love you